Hey, girl. You think what I'm thinking? Genetic power has now been unleashed. You can't put it back in the box. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. <sighs> All right, so I finally watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdoms because I got pissed off at the trailers and I just said, I'm not seeing this movie. I refuse to go see this movie in theaters. If I somehow catch it on cable, if someone lets me borrow the movie, that's actually how I actually watch the movie. That's the only way I'm going to watch this freaking movie. And guess what? I'm glad I listened to my instincts and saying, like, well, it is a big release. I said, no, fuck that. I'm not doing that. I'm going to see movies that I actually want to see. And be honest with you, I didn't like this movie. So Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom takes place, right? It takes place after the events of Jurassic World. The island is abandoned and somehow there's a volcano on the island, which, why, did, why have we stayed there? I mean, that makes no sense. And we have to save all these dinosaurs. Can't they get more dinosaur DNA from the ember thing? So why do we care about these dinosaurs? I mean, that's just... I, the, the movie makes no freaking sense. And they go off to the island. And I, the parts I like about the movie was actually the beginning of the movie. I thought the beginning of it, whenever... Uh, you, whenever uh, the guys on the island are trying to get the they're trying to get the Adonis Rex skeleton, and he is hacking into it, and they he, they hear something, and then a storm, and you hear you see the the Dino head. I, I thought that was actually pretty cool. That was the one shot of the movie. I was like, huh, that was kind of interesting. But then they then they just they 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 fooled me. I guess I mean I want to say they fooled me. Just just it they just it just you know. Expected my expectations of the movie. The movie stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard. Chris Pratt does his Chris Pratt things. Like he's like, I'm Chris Pratt. Quick, quick, quick. Chris Pratt. Pratt. Hey, Blue, what's up? Go, click, bye, bye. And then also got Bryce Dallas Howard in the movie. I mean, she's there. Be honest with you, this movie does not have good characters. I, there's not a character in this movie I actually am fond of. And that's one thing I hate about this movie was that in the original Jurassic Park movie, Oh, there were great characters of uh, Ian Malcolm and uh, and then Dr. Dr. Grant and even Ellie. I thought all three of those characters in the original Jurassic Park movie are just fantastic characters and they feel like real people. No, nobody in this movie I give a shit about. I kind of root for the dinosaurs just to eat them all. And then the villain in the movie, he's just a, such a court. Tune feeling. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna sell the bit. I'm gonna sell the dinosaurs and make millions of dinosaurs. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell happened? What the hell happened with this franchise? And just, wow, this movie just pissed me off. The first hour, I was, uh, the first 30, 40 minutes, I liked the movie. The rest of it, I could, I wanted to turn it off. That was how bad, but I stuck it out. Finished it, it out, and now I have this review out that, which is completely me shitting on Jurassic World. Also, Jeff Goldblum's in the movie for two freaking minutes. And be honest with you, he was the only character in this whole movie I actually liked. I hate this movie. I did not enjoy any of that. There's a few moments, like the raptor fighting the new dinosaurs. Like, why do we keep building these new freaking dinosaurs and they keep getting their ass kicked by the original dinosaurs? What the hell are we doing? Overall, the, the, the ending, I, I thought the ending kind of sets itself up for some interesting stuff, which is something I was wanting from at the end of Jurassic World. I was like, okay, I kind of want to see, I want to see the Planet of the Apes dinosaurs uh, Jurassic Park movie. That's what I want to see. Maybe we're going to get there. And just like uh, Jeff Goldblum says, but Jeff Goldblum's right at the end. He says like, we're gonna enter the new age. We're gonna get killed by our hubris, and we're just idiots. And I'm also believe people are idiots for making this movie. And I'm sorry. I love J. L. Bonus Monster Calls. I like Chris Pratt in the Guardians. I like him in Avengers: Infinity War. Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, she's she's cool, I guess. But this franchise needs to die. I'm sorry. I am a, such a fan of the first Jurassic Park movie, but every movie since the first Jurassic Park movie has been terrible. That it's been disaster. Lost World is not a good movie. I don't give a shit who says the movie is a good thing or not. 
the third Jurassic Park movie, it's a stupid dumb movie. I can watch that. Jurassic World, even though I gave it a decent review, I've gone back to my reviews, and I said I just cannot stand that movie. I can watch parts of it, and this one is just as bad as the last one. I don't even think I like it better than the last one. I thought it's just as bad. And the, like I said, I want to turn the movie halfway off. I, uh, I'm not going to give this a terrible score just because it are. I thought it was shot well. I thought Jay Viona did a good job directing it. But the script is bad and the characters are bad. I'm going to see. It's. It, I'm giving this. I'm giving Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a C. It's. It's. It's just. Eh, that's all I can say about it without. As I've already gotten pretty mad at watching this movie. So guys, have you seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdoms? Anyone? How pissed off are you that we keep getting this shitty franchise? And not getting a good Jurassic Park movie like the original. Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And guys, like this video, click that thumbs button, subscribe to see, subscribe to see more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.